how to delay your period 100% right on vacation. Okay, 100%. Not like, it happened for me, so it happened for you. Here's 100%. Okay, do you have to take a pill? Yes, but we're going to talk about it. Hello, hello. Today's video, if you didn't see the title, which obviously you saw, is about how to not be on your period on vacation. How to not let um flow ruin the vacay. I'm just going to tell you about what I did that worked. There's a lot of things I did that did not work. If you want me to make a video about that, comment below. But today's video is going to tell you about what I did to make sure I was not on my period on my trip to Hawaii, um, what it was like for me, my experience, and what I recommend it. And this is a hundred percent proof. A hundred percent. Not like it happened for me, so it happened for you. Here's a hundred percent. Okay, do you have to take a pill? Yes, but we're going to talk about it. All right, number one. Why did I want to, this is delay my period. Not stop my period, but delay your period. How to delay your period 100% while you're on vacation. Okay, number one. The reason why I wanted to delay my period is because I was going on a vacation to Hawaii. Um, could I be on my period in Hawaii? Yes. But do I have the worst cramps and the worst mood? When I'm on my period, yes. I'm mean, I'm cranky, I'm curled up into a ball, nothing is fun for me. So it could have been a vacation, it could have been a family vacation, it could have been a vacation with my friend. I just did not want to be my period because it would have ruined the vibe. For me. For me! So I tried a whole bunch of things, natural ways of how to delay your period, and none of them worked for me. I'll, I, if you want me to in the comments below, let me know, I'll make a video about all the things I tried that you're going to see on the internet because you're probably found this video along the way as well. But if you're like, Hallie, Halicia, I'm ready for 100% proof. Let me know. All right, so I, I'll tell you about myself. I am not on any birth control. I don't take the pill. I don't take the shot. I don't have anything. So I don't take any drugs to, like, affect my hormones. So I was very hesitant to try a pill that was going to delay my period. So um, if you want to know about how things were, I know how it is when I watch videos. I'm like, okay, it started for them on this day and this day. So for me, I was going to leave on the 28th and come back on the 5th. And I was scheduled to start my period on the 28th. Disrespectful, right? So it wasn't like I was going to be on my period a little bit of the trip. It, I was in Hawaii for like six days. Um, kind of seven because I stopped in San Francisco. But I was going to be on my period the entire time. The entire time. So I was like, this is not okay. So anyways, I looked up so many things. And the thing that I looked up that was 100% is from this brand called, is it Wisp? Wisp. Sorry, I had to read the box. Because I used her and I just forgot all about her. <laughs> okay? But I want to tell you, if you're going on a vacation and that's your biggest fear, or even if you're on your wedding night, I think the two reasons I would only really use this is like a vacation that's very important to me or like a wedding night. Other than that, I don't want to... I don't want to finagle and mess with the hormones. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I did is there's this company called Wisp, and I'm not sponsored anything like that. What if they want to pay for this video? They can. But basically do, they do anything like um, birth control, yeast infections, delay period, all these things. And so they basically give you this little box that looks like this. And it, it comes kind of cute. In this box comes these pills. So what it is, you have to take this a few days before your period. I was kind of confused because my period is like, maybe we'll start today, maybe we'll start tomorrow. I don't know. So instead of just starting it on, you know, the 26th, I kind of started the pills on the 25th. And so I knew I had 30 tablets, 30 little pills. Oh, I don't have any more in this. Oh yeah, because I used them all. <laughs> but they're really, really small. Um, actually... I probably have some somewhere that I can show you, but they're very, very small. They're like this size. They're like the smallest pill. I gag when I take pills and I need water for the smallest pill. This one you can swallow with your spit. It's very small. It's very small. So basically you need to take this three, about three days before because it's, this is supposed to last 10 days. So delaying your period. It's a 10 day process, right? So your period typically could be 10 days. So the point is take it three days before. So you're not on your period those seven days and then two, three, four days afterwards and your period would start. Um, so basically I was like, okay, I read up everything on it. It was completely safe. All it does is the way it was described to me is the way your hormones go when you're on your period. Let's say your hormones go up. Let's just say hypothetically, the way your hormones go up, all this does is keep you on the up, up, up. So you don't start your period. So let's say you start your period when your hormones go down. Let's just say that. Um, it kind of keeps you on the up a little bit longer for another seven days. And then it stops and then it just lets you go back down so you start your period. So I took this. I think I, was, I started taking this on the 25th. So I took these pills from the 25th 
to the fifth. And I did exactly three a day. Three a day, 30 pills, that's it. There's some people who say, you only have to take two, you only have to do that, that's it. And so I was nervous. I was like, the side effects were like, oh, cramping, or maybe whatever side effects you have when you're on your period. And I usually break out really bad cramping. So I was kind of nervous to be like, well, I'm not going to be bleeding, but I'm going to feel miserable. But I didn't. I felt kind of amazing. The only downside is, okay, so I went um, on the 28th, my period did not start. I was like, did not start at all. I do when I travel, I get a little swollen and bloated when I travel and fly, period. So it's hard for me to compare to say, was that the, you know, pills I was taking? Was that natural travel? But it kind of like went down and it wasn't a big deal to where I don't really care. The side effects, the result outweighs the side effects. Because when I tell you, I was snorkeling, I was swimming, I was doing all the things. And if I was on my period, I would have been miserable. Okay. Okay. So I just took these. I took, I tried to pick the same time every day. So I did 7 a.m., about 1 p.m., and then 7 p.m. For me, that was just easy. Some days was it 2 p.m. Yeah. Some days was it 8 p.m. Yeah. But I just told myself kind of, and I set the alarms on my phone. And I think there might have been one day that I took two. It might have been my first day because I wanted to start really early. And that was about it. Nothing, nothing, nothing bad happened. So my face didn't extra break out. I wasn't extra bloated. Nothing like that. No bad symptoms. It was pretty much a pleasant experience. Um, I took it all the way to the last day. I was there to the 5th. And my last peel was on the 5th. And then let's say I left Hawaii on, I believe, uh, Monday or Tuesday. And I started my period that following Thursday. Was it more heavy? No, my period usually comes in aggressively anyways. Um, I feel like it was just equally aggressive as it always was. It wasn't any more abnormal. And that was about two months ago. So I've had two other periods since then. And it's easy peasy. I have read online from like, you know, peop um, from doctors. I don't know what they're called when they deal with your hormones. Is it your gynecologist or something like that? That they say they wouldn't recommend doing this often. So don't go on five trips and then you're taking this five times a year. I personally, from what they say, only at the most do this one time a year to not mess with your hormones. The reason why I kind of recommend it, mind you, disclaimer, I should have probably put this in the beginning. I'm nobody. I don't know anything. I'm just telling you my experience. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nothing, but a person who tried the pill, okay? So this is just my my experience that I'm sharing with you. Um, from my experience and things that I read, if someone was like, well, how often would you take it? I would honestly would say not unless there's another big trip coming up or my wedding day. And I'm like, and those are the only two times where I really don't want to have my period. Other than that, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't mess with it. Um, just because you don't want to mess with your hormones like that, especially if you're like me and you don't like to do birth control and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, it was a pretty pleasant experience. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah. Honestly, I would because I didn't have anything bad to say about it. And they do say if you feel like you are pregnant, so if you're, like, extra sexually active and you're having unprotected sex, don't use it. You know what I mean? And it's not, it doesn't prevent you getting pregnant. So um, take that into consideration. All it does is say unflow. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Okay. Actually, let me go get the pill. I want to show you what it looks like. Okay. This video is almost over. But I think I kind of forgot to even tell you what the pill was called. I'm not editing this, so hopefully you watch this, till this part so you know what this pill is called. It's called Norethindrone. Norethindrone. It's 5 milligrams tablet, okay? So, the reason why you're going to see me pull it out of this container compared to the cute little clear one is I'll kind of tell you like in 30 seconds the drama I had. So it's this small. Look how baby it is. It's so little. It's so little. Like if you want to see, it's literally so small it's a it's a little bit like three grains of rice put together two grains of rice it's so small um tastes like nothing the reason why i have this is because i got really nervous they ship in three to five business days and i ordered mine like seven days before and it, it they saved me send me a notification saying it was going to come on the day that i left and i said oh. It's not acceptable. My heart started beating fast. And I was like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So then I asked them. They are, the customer service is absolutely amazing. I feel like this is a review, <laughs> a sponsored video, but it's not. The customer service was absolutely amazing. And I told them like, hey, is there a way I can go to CVS? Because you can get this two ways. You can get your prescription because you get it. You have to get um, approved online after filling out a form. And then you go online probably within 24 hours. A doctor or something like that will say like, based off of what you responded with, I give you permission to get this appeal because it needs to be prescribed to you so you could either go to cvs and get it yourself or get it mailed to you i will say this 
if you get it in this cute little box and the cute little container, it does cost like 30, 40 bucks. But if you just get it from the CVS, I told them, I was like, hey, can I just go to the CVS and get it myself? They're like, yeah, we'll rush your order, but if it doesn't come in time, you can get it. This was like $20. So you do like, it does look a little bit more medicated, you know what I mean? Um, but it was cheaper, so if that helps, if you're wondering about the price. So like with them, it's I think it's like 30, 40 bucks. And then if you get it from your CVS, at least from me, local pharmacy, it only cost me like 20 bucks. Did I end up getting both because I wasn't patient and I was stressing out? Yes. But it ended up coming right before my flight. So I already started it the three days before, and then I just continued with this on my trip. Sounds a little complicated, but I'm sure you understand. But that's about it. A great experience. Um, so if you're like me and you're stressing out and you're about to start your period on like a really, really big vacay that's very, very important to you, or it's like your wedding night, or just like you're like, girl, can it delay? Then I would recommend Wisp for you. It's super, super easy. And I feel like the reason why I used to regret not being on birth control, because I was like, if I was on birth control, I could just skip that week like the girlies do and then not have my period. I recommend this over that because this doesn't prevent your period from coming for a month. This just delays it. So that's why in case you're like, oh, I'm on birth control, I'll just skip those. What is it? Like they call them like sugar pills that seven week to prevent your period from starting. Just in my opinion, my unprofessional opinion, I recommend this because it doesn't prevent your period from coming for the week. It just delays it a little bit. So let me know if this video was helpful for to you. Helpful for to you. I'm telling you, I'm not editing this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'm done talking. Comment below if you have any questions about it. Um, I don't think they do promo codes or anything like that, but if they do, if this video becomes successful, maybe I'll get a promo code. <laughs> Um, other than that, I can also tell you all the things I did naturally that did not work about the papaya, the ginger, the vitamin C, all those things, because you'll see those videos on YouTube as well. I'll tell you my experience, the parsley. <sighs> if you want to know, let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to tell you guys, my skin is getting clear. If you want the new skin routine, let me know. I don't even know what the next video is going to be. You guys decide. Decide in the comments below. Other than that, I'm out. Have a great vacay before the year's over, okay? Peace, and don't be on your period. <laughs> don't let it ruin the party. Peace. We don't got no time for no period. For no period. Cause that's period. <laughs>